Hello guys, this is Nilesh Kamre and in this video we are going to see how to troubleshoot issue related to 0x8007042 and to troubleshoot this issue we have to go to troubleshoot settings. In the search box type troubleshoot and click on troubleshoot settings. Scroll down until you find windows update click on run the troubleshooter. It is going to take some time so the message is troubleshooting couldn't identify the problem. So I'm going to close the troubleshooter. This is the one method to fix the issue. Another method is to go to services.msc, hit enter, check windows update service. I just press W on my keyboard and this is windows update service. It's currently in the manual state. Startup type should be automatic. Click on apply and okay. Check beats background intelligent transfer service. Click on this and click on automatic. Click on apply and click on OK. You can restart the service. Now check workstation service. This is a workstation service. Click on restart. This is second method to troubleshoot the issue. Now third method would be check, go to windows, click on software distribution. First of all, stop windows update service. Rename this to old underscore old hit enter. It requires administrator permissions. Click on continue, click on yes, and then start the service. So it will create a new folder software distribution folder, and it will start the download of new updates. So if all the previous troubleshooting steps doesn't work, then we have to run the scan that is sfc space scan now and hit enter open the command prompt with administrative rights and then run this command it is going to take some time and once this is finished you have to reboot the computer i will show you another command as well so this process is complete and we have to reboot the computer just close this after login please check if the issue is resolved if the issue is not resolved, we have to run another command. Open the command prompt, type cmd in the search box. Click on run as administrator, hit yes. So the command is dism.exe space slash online space slash cleanup hyphen image space slash restore health. Hit enter and this is going to scan the deployment image and will fix the issues for us. So this is also going to take some time, five to 10 minutes. It's totally depend upon the computer performance. So once this is finished, you have to reboot the computer and check if the issue is resolved or not. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe and press the bell icon to enable notifications for future videos. Thanks and bye-bye.